add fretboards in crescendo. To show the guitar fingering for a chord, click a chord in the fretboard toolbox on the right to select it. Click on this chord to place it. For additional options, right click on the chord after placing it. Continue watching this tutorial for more details on adding fretboards to the score. The fretboard toolbox is located on the right of your score. Click on a chord to select it. When the fretboard tool is active, a horizontal dash line and a semi-vertical dash line will appear to help with the fretboard placement. The horizontal line helps to align the fretboard with other fretboards on the same line. The vertical line indicates the attachment position of the fretboard. When the vertical line points to the middle of a note head, the fretboard is attached to the note and will move with the note. To delete a fretboard, select it and press delete or right-click the fretboard and select delete. You can change the appearance of the fretboard by right-clicking on it and selecting one of the following options from the right-click menu. Show name only, only the chord name is shown. Show diagram only, show the fretboard only with no chord name. Show name and diagram shows the fretboard with a chord name. Set style as default, this will set the current style as the default for when you place the fretboard. To print only the chords and lyrics, add the chords and lyrics to your score, leaving the staffs blank. To create multiple lines without adding a note, select the bar tool on the notation tab, then drag the mouse down the page and place the bar when there are enough lines showing. When you click print, Crescendo will recognize that the staffs are blank and ask if you want to print compactly. Selecting this option will hide the staffs in the printout. For more Crescendo tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.